So encouraging. Yeah. I mean, in so many ways to see just the remarkably stoic nature of the people of Ukraine. And of course, your messaging that I think is reflected in their courage and in their determination and in their perseverance and resilience is just, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's to see the children, to see in yeah. their eyes. Yes. Um, uh, it's palpable, the uh, anxiety and yet the strength of the Ukrainian people is something that is uh, really awe-inspiring in truth. So it's, uh, and of course, you know, your messaging is the reason for that. So it's remarkable to see how you are, you know, holding this country and... Uh, and we you know, all, we have a good country. Well... We hold each other. Yes. And thank you very much for your coming and, and your messages, because your coming is also a big message and for us it's very important. We had an, an incredible experience today. We met a family, Natalia and Yuri, uh, two parents who have five children of their own and yeah. they received... House, yeah. They have a family house, but they took four more children. Four That's more children. Incredible people. Unbelievable people. Yeah. Took four more children, each that there are siblings, took them into their home, they feed them, they take them to school. These children are not well, they have medica medical needs. That's the future for, for hopefully, that is the kind of future. For, for children who need, who are orphaned in this country, because obviously that's what UNICEF is advocating for, as opposed to institutionalized, institutionalized ways of, of raising children. Um, we had a very, a very uh, I heard everything that was, was said uh, today um, about um, the, the, the missing children and so on. And this is something that I think UNICEF is taking incredibly seriously, just as the rest of the world is watching, of course, President, of course, you know, he who shall not be mentioned was made a, a, a war criminal um, because of no. this, and it's and it's so horrific what's going on. But I think that um, if we can create, sorry for interrupting, no, if we can create our two teams jointly mm. to create the points, steps, step by step, what 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 to do if we can work, because of course informational wave about the children, how to how to bring them back and to do everything, uh, this uh, uh, infrastructure for, for, for children, educational network. And if we can prepare and then do big informational wave, uh, because you know, sometimes when they are uh, like children, when they are waiting, you give straight messages that you will be at home and then they begin to wait, but you don't have all, all facilities and it's also will be big that's right not good kick for them and, and that's why i think if we can work a little bit uh, i visited then, school yeah. today there were two um two bomb shelters within the school each could take about three to five hundred children and and unicef has set them up great and they they they're they look like the 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 the, the child-friendly space it's the light it, it's and it's the appropriate safe uh, shelter for children in these circumstances and I think that is a, a, a very important issue for UNICEF and, and, and I certainly saw one today. Um, I'm a member of a, a Buddhist organization since I'm 16 and my mentor is a Japanese man in, in, in Japan, a man named Daisaku Ikeda and in 1994 he wrote a message of encouragement to the youth of the UK. He wouldn't see them but he sent this message. This is an excerpt from the message that he sent to these children to, for them to listen to. He reserved himself from being there. But I wanted to read it because I feel it's so important and I had it written for you as well to read along. But it says, the times are changing from an age where justice, from an age where power is justice to an age in which justice is power. In this new age, the supreme guiding principle will be the benefit of all humanity rather than the interests of one particular nation or ethnic group. We will see the transformation of history from the revolution of the external environment to that of the inner self, the inner human revolution. It will be an age in which the actions of leaders will naturally be based on the guidelines of making all mothers happy. 
A great future lies ahead of you. You must fix your eyes on that future, never losing sight of your goal, even for one single moment. Centuries, tens of centuries have waited for you to arrive and have been preparing for you. You are the ones who have appeared now so mystically. Your victory would be the victory of humanism. Your defeat would be the defeat of hope. Hence, you must win in everything. You must fight with an indomitable spirit. Once fortune was against a knight who was captured in battle by his enemies and had his castle confiscated. Where is your castle now? They asked, laughing scornfully. You have lost everything, they implied. The knight answered resolutely, holding his head high. My castle is in my heart. Cool. You have a heart. <laughs> thank you so much. You have a strong heart, and thank you for everything you do. So thank you. I wanted to give this to you. Thank you. Right. It's um, it's written here in. Uh, it's written there. I used to read oh. this every day. It's written for Ukraine. you. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Ukraine and like. I had it. I had it translated, but it, I. Thank I you used so to read it when I was a child, just to um, try and give myself the courage as well. But. Daisaku Ikeda. Ikeda. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great honor, thank you. Thank so you much. so much, man. What a thank pleasure. You so thank you. 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 My mother sang the national, the, the, the Ukrainian national anthem. She says, "If you see Zelensky, you tell them to win." <laughs> and, uh, she sings, she sings the uh, the national anthem in English. And yeah. she, she learns it. She's great. But thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.